Hi, I'm Tree, and today I'm going to show you how to sew an easy single welt pocket that's great for coats and jackets. So we've marked the line of where roughly our pocket opening is going to go. Now I've used an iron. We've reinforced it with interfacing. This is the side seam and this is the front of my jacket or coat. So I've cut out a rectangle, put interfacing on it and the size of it is whatever I want it to be but you need to add a little bit of seam allowance on there because we're going to be sewing this right sides together so it's going to end up being a seam allowance smaller. Now for the method that we're doing today I've also cut out two pocket sacks which are going to go like that and then like that. So the first thing that we need to do is to sew this pocket flap right sides together a seam allowance away on each side and then if you need to trim back your excess fabric and just slightly mitre at the end where the fold is on both sides turn the right way round and push out the corners. And give it a good press. Then stay stitch along the edge. So it can be handy to just sort of press back the seam allowance so you can have a good look at where you're going to position your welt pocket and then fold it back and sew just on this side of the stay stitch line stitching your pocket flap to the actual coat or jacket So because I have a press line here and a press line here showing where I'm going to be placing my pocket, it does make it easier. Now when you do yours, don't do it in a contrasting thread. <laughs> I've just done that to make it easier for you to see. Now, go forwards and back and just be on this side of your stay stitch line but following the line that you know to be the right angle of where you're putting your pocket now you could draw that in a biro type of pen because nobody's going to see it So when you've stitched your pocket flap on, just double check that when you fold it up that it is in the right position. Check where your front is, where your side seam is to make sure that the placement is good. But fold it back now for us to apply the pocket sack. You will have cut out two shapes that kind of look like a, I don't know, an ear. <laughs> but this shape can be whatever you want. It depends how you want your pocket shape, your pocket sack shape to be. But just take one of them away at the moment. And with your fabric right sides together, 
with your jacket, fold over, I suppose about two and a half inches or five centimeters and press a line. It is really handy to press a line so you know where you're going to be sewing. Now you want there to be a bit of a room on either side so when you turn it through you can grab it. So we've got we've got like a three quarters of an inch on either side here. Now I'm going to fold that back and I'm going to sew starting but not going over where where my pocket flap is and I'm going to sew along that edge and stop where the pocket flap finishes on the other side. Now I think it's a good idea at this point just to slightly mitre but please be careful these bits here. Only a little bit because because when you've sewn down to the edge of the pocket flap there rather than going at a right angle just go at a slight slight angle in only a little bit and then come straight down the other side and when you come to where it finishes on this side just go at a slight angle in there and the reason why we're doing that is if you were to go at an exact right angle, you run the risk when you fold this up of seeing like a hole there. So if you do that, come in at a slight angle as you sew along there, then you're quite likely to avoid that happening. I made sure that I've got a gap on each side there when I fold this back. Now you can use pins and sew along here. Now I think it's it's handy to finger score my pocket sack fabric where it lines up with the edge of that pocket, yeah? So I'm going to line everything up making sure my my press line is in the right place and then going to begin sewing along that line. You can sort of feel where it finishes. Just put the needle in, turn it around. Now this is where you feel to go at a right angle but really don't. Just go at a slight coming in angle. Now the width of this opening is whatever you want it to be, but don't make it too large. Now we're going to make it a bit bigger than our seam allowance. And come straight back down on the other side. Now remember we don't want it to be a right angle, so we're just doing it at a slight angle there just to be on the safe side. That's too much of an angle, one more. Come back to where you started. And then just over so. Where you sewed in the beginning. See how it's at a slight angle there. So that's what we've done. There's our pocket flap, yeah? Now what we're going to do, we're going to cut through here and then turn it inside out. So try and find a middle point on here. And then go right, right to the corner there. 
and right right to the corner there now usually when you do these welt pockets it is important to be square and it is important to leave a great big triangle bit here that you then grab but in this situation it isn't so important and you'll see why now make sure you go through all of the layers but try and keep the seam allowance away now turn everything through that hole everything needs to go through that hole bring it through onto the other side now when you do this these corners are very important they must be very very neat so I've flapped my flap up in the position in the finished sort of position so I can have a good look at these corners now I can see that I need to snip into them a little bit more so I get a nice smooth corner so once you're happy with how that all looks and if it definitely looks nice and flat on the other side there's my front there's my side seam <laughs> put it back again to the wrong side and get the um, other piece of your pocket flap line it up and you're simply going to sew around the edge but catching it yeah you're sewing these two together you're not sewing it to this you're catching these and you're going to sew all around the edge now you don't have to capture the corner little triangles with this because we end up stitching these bits down which hold it in place we also end up stitching all of this together as well which also holds it in place but you'll see that in the minute so for now we're going to sew the two pieces of the pocket sack together so first of all I'm going to stitch along that top edge now there's nothing clever about this all we're doing is just sewing the two cut out pieces of the sack together so when I get to the edge I'm going to put the needle in make sure that my pocket sacks are lined up now you'll probably be using pins so do you see what we've done there all we've done is just stitch those two pieces of fabric together so let's go over to the right side so you can see what's going on so that's our pocket flap which is going to be up like that we put our hand in there that's where the pocket sack is but you don't have to do this but it's a good idea to get that stitched onto there you see so if I just fold this over so I folded back the flap and I'm folding back the jacket fabric basically with this being nice and flat I just want to stitch along there to hold it in place so I've kept it in that position I can see where I've got to go so I'm not going to go backwards and forwards because I don't think I need to I do need to stay on that sewn line there it's just to hold it all in place yeah so that's what we just did there so this is kind of like we could just trim that off if we wanted but I'll leave it there for now so look so it just means that that's held nicely and tightly into place so you'll be grateful now 
for why <laughs> you did these things at an angle because look so I'm folding that over now if I did them at right angles it would have been possibly tricky to have lined everything up yeah but now they're definitely hidden so all you have to do now is you're just going to top stitch you can hand sew them top stitch these edges in place so I've got nowhere to hide with my red thread so make sure everything is all nice and flat and you're going to go forwards and back or you're not because you're going to pull the threads through so I'm sewing up the edge needle in swivel my work around so I've come across far enough so that the um, edge of the sewing foot goes on the edge of my stitch line and then backwards and forwards there now with top stitching it is nicer if you just pull the thread through you know to the other side so do feel free to do that rather than going backwards and forwards you pull them through on the other side and um, tie them in a knot but clearly we've not done that right so you ready to have a look so that wasn't too bad was it so look that's quite deep actually <laughs> So these pockets are good on coats and jackets, I think. And I did it this method because I find, if I show you on the other side, I find that people get very confused when they have the two pieces where they come together and you sew them together here and one you've got to remember to be on one side and one you've got to remember to be on the other side where it's so much easier if you simply use one of your pocket sacks cut out your hole so you end up with a hole there and then just come in and just stitch the the other pocket sack together surely that's easy now if you're thinking if you're looking at this and you're thinking well hey I might want my pocket sacks to go down more like a dog ear shape. So what I'd say about that is give yourself enough room on either side here because you can always trim it back. But then just draw out a shape that is like that and cut both of them exactly the same. Because these pocket sacks, when you use this method, can definitely be any shape. That you want it to be. Now if you also want to know how to sew this style of single welt pocket which is used more on trousers and skirts and jackets um, just comment below and let me know. So thank you so much for watching. Bye!